Hello, welcome to Jojo Science Show. Today, we're going to build a battery. And we're going to use it to power this clock. <laughs> For this experiment, I'm going to use this clock, a lemon, two pieces of zinc, two pieces of copper, and a small wire. First, we're going to cut this lemon in half. Make sure you have a grown-up cut the lemon for you. The lemon smells good. We're going to stick one copper and one zinc in each side of the lemon. My lemon's grew in tannins. Each one of these rods has a little hole so that you can attach your wires. Attach the the wire to one zinc and one copper in opposite limits. I'm going to tape the wire so that they won't move. Now let's wire the clock to the other two poles. I'm attaching the black wire to the zinc and now I'm attaching the red to the copper. Wow, look, it's working, just with a lemon. Wow, this is awesome, we just built a battery. The clock requires very low voltage. If you need more volts, you would need a lot of lemon cells like this. Oh look, it's Eli the Electron. Hi Eli, this lemon clock works because the zinc and copper in the lemon form a battery. The zinc is the negative pole of the battery. The copper is the positive pole. The lemon has electrolytes that can carry electrons. The zinc likes to take up electrons from the lemon, and copper likes to give these electrons to the lemon. Eli's hanging out in the lemon. Eli moves into the zinc and into the clock and turns it on. He then moves to the copper. Then Eli moves into the second lemon. And the electrolytes in the lemon carry more electrons like Eli to the zinc. Let's try the experiment again with, with a watermelon instead of a lemon. And look, it works like a watermelon clock. Now let's eat the watermelon clock. <laughs> Yummy. Let's do a watermelon and a lemon clock. I just moved half of the clock to a lemon, and now we have a watermelon lemon clock. Oh, fine. Let's try to make a salt water clock. And it works. Look at that. Wow, look, it's working out of salt water. That's awesome. You just learned how to make your own battery and how a battery works. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my fun videos. And make sure to share this video with your friends. And remember kids, science is fun!